Abby Franson and I'm the director of tumbling here at Twister Sports in Warrensburg and also in Sedalia. And today I'm here with Cadence and we're going to be showing you how to properly execute a back plank kickover which leads us into our next skill, the back walkover. So we're going to start with our feet apart and our arms up. We've already done a video on just the back bend alone so we're going to go ahead and go through the, that motion with hands and then head leading back into the back bend. Awesome. You should have a strong back bend and bridge before executing a kickover because you have to be able to hold yourself upside down. When you kick over, you have to make sure that you're kicking your good foot first, straight legs, pointed toes. Go ahead, Kay, kick that good foot over and arms up. Good. She's going to go ahead and pass through the split of that good foot when she's upside down just like you did. That was awesome. Come on back. After you've executed a back bend kickover by yourself, nice and strong, we move on to a back walkover. You need to have a back bend kick over first because back walk over takes off of one foot. So she's going to start standing here with her strong leg straight and her good foot pointed nice and firm. Good. Arms up strong. You want to make sure there's no weight on your heel. If you start to lean forward and put weight down on that front foot, you're going to end up jumping into the back walk over and falling forward. We don't want any unnecessary weight going forward. So there should be nothing in this foot. It's just there for stability. Good. Go ahead and drop your head back. As she goes back, this foot comes up and over, and arms up nice and strong. Very good, Cadence.